Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and this is not the deck I'm gonna play in Modena. I'm gonna give my middle deck what might be the last chance in Modern. I am 0... 4 with the deck? Yes. I really want it to work and I don't think uh, Glimpse the Unthinkable is what is lacking. I'm running another card instead. But there is so much lacking in this deck and it might just be my uh, it might just not be my thing whereas living end seems to be my thing or hard for dread so perhaps or a modern stop your modern delver perhaps i should give up on this deck i'm running mind funeral instead of glimpse the unthinkable it's somewhat worse but not not totally horrible so Last chance for Mill. If I am 0 5 with the deck, I will just play it for fancies. Uh, okay. Uh, the wins I had has been the Jace's Phantasm uh, starts. So I'm starting with the Crab here. I'm paying two lives. Playing the Crab. And then, then I'm gonna Inquisition Phantasm here. No, play the crab first! Damn, why do I always forget it? I am so bad. This just looks really bad. What a basic mistake. Okay, let's try to buy some time for the crabs. Probe Manamorphose. Well, it's the Electromancer of course. Storm would be fun. He is pretty good at milling himself, but I am helping out with the uh, Pyromancers if he runs Pyromancer, but now everybody should be running Pyromancer, right? Without seeding some. And I have, I have a feeling this Jace's Phantasm will be enormous. And there we go. And I don't have what I need here. Uh, can I get the green mana from this? Okay, island. I don't know if I can get the green mana. Let's let's see. Uh, I can get the breeding pool. Yes, I want to pay two life. Maybe this is what the storm deck is good for. And then I pay green, black, the case, the ascension. and play the Phantasm. And then I can go to court myself for 12 cards. And ghost quartering a dark slick shores into an island shouldn't be too big of a disadvantage. Desperate ravings. Maybe this is just the nightmare matchup for Storm. Uh, so I attack. And 
and I chose him as the target. I destroy my own dark slickshores. Use the ability. Put an island into play. I choose you, Mr. Island. Okay, now I'm really attacking on two very different fronts here. I have won two duels in these four matches that I've lost. They are all on video. And will this now be the first win for the mill deck? I'm real sorry about the bad miss with the Hedron Crab in the first turn. I hope it will not get decisive. This is why you need bolts in the storm sideboard, maybe. <laughs> uh, Inquisition. Always fun. So let's use it. Do I even have a document for this deck? I should have. Modern, hard for red battle, mono black infect, pyromancer. No, I don't have it. So the ritual maybe. Because everything else draws him cards. And I want him to draw cards. And I'm done. Well, if he can get out of this, he's pretty good. So will he die to Mill before he dies to the Phantasm? Probably. this optional? No. Going down to 11 cards. She has two cards now. He has a mana more force in his hand. And he might have something, but some of the cards remaining are lands. Of course, he can cast cards from the graveyard. Okay, I'm making a cyber document. Modern plan. Mill. And storm. I want abrupt decay, right? Do I have that in the cyborg? Let's see what I have in my cyborg before I try to... I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Still feel fairly safe here. Can he somehow produce a Past in Flames? There they are. Well, if he could get off a Past in Flames, I'm in trouble. Uh oh. 
Oh, maybe he can. But he has only two cards in his hand. And only four mana. And they need to be all rituals. So I think he's just dying here. He could, of course. Five mana, that's enough! Isn't it? No, it's not enough. It's enough to... Oh, it's enough! He can flashback for four now, yeah. And then use all the rituals, so he will win. Damn it! I did not think he could win there. And in uh, four turns, uh, after I placed <laughs> the Aces Phantasm, this is the last turn. Next turn, I would kill them, but this will destroy me. Nice storm. And he still has a grape shot here, right? There it is. I'll uh, watch him go through with it. Okay. Uh, we don't need to watch that. Three cards left in his library. Uh, okay. We did have an abrupt decay. We did have back to nature. We want the macabers. Uh, 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 we need the inquisition. Do we want the maelstrom pulse? Possibly. Uh, so what do we don't not need? Well, that might be overkill. Uh, the Deathright Shamans are doing a great job actually, so we may not need that many Macabres. I think we should reduce something, maybe the mind funerals actually, because he's doing such a great job by himself. But I really wanted them. Are the snapcast images too slow? Maybe they are. And maybe reduce a creature. And a draw spell. Where is it? No, I'm taking out the mind funeral. Minus one mind funeral and minus one white. So that's my sideboard. I'll try to include it in the show notes and you can comment on it. I really felt that I could have won there. But I did not, so let's keep this anti hand then instead. So we're scalding Tarning for Water Grave, playing the Deathrite Shaman. Next turn it's Vision's Inquisition, maybe. Uh, Inquisition. 
Do I want to cast the white? Hmm. I need to get the Electromancer out of the way. We'll exile a land. Get the black mana. Play the white. And then we'll have Pyromancer on board. Yes. And here is Mr. Hedron Crab. Uh, why do I keep White of Precinct 6 in the deck? Actually, wha what do I hope to accomplish? They don't do a lot, do they? And Snapcast Mage should probably do more. Uh, getting a Scalding Tarn. Now I'm actually helping the... Uh, I have Breeding Pool in my hand already. Uh, not paying. Swinging, right? Or wait a minute. We are removing a sorcery card. And we are swinging. So I did two damage on him by exiling that card, yes. So I need to get rid of a lot of sorcery cards. So pretty much I'm taking out four whites and a mind funeral and keeping the snapcaster mage is in. Do I take out one snapcaster mage for two fairies? Probably not. Wow, that guy. So who do I kill here? I think it is the uh, Electro Monster actually. What the fuck? Uh, green, black. Kill the Electro Monster. I do destroy something nasty here. Desperate Ritual again. Echoing Truth. God. Hit him for three. How many cards are in this game? Nine. So I'm casting Visions of Beyond next turn. Yes, yeah, Snapcast Mage would have been a lot better than the white. That's why we need a cyber plan. We need to think through these things when we don't have three minutes to think. And that's why I'm probably not playing Living End in the tournament tomorrow evening. I'm gonna play a play run event on gathering.com tonight. The uh, Angels Fear to Tread. No, not tonight, not tomorrow night. Uh oh. Can't respond to the serum visions, right? I can't respond to the the pyromancer ascension thing. So he can actually activate it now. There we go. It's on. So 
So we need to get rid of all the cards in this graveyard that actually give him mana and stuff. So mana morphosis is my next target. <sighs> Double serum visions. Feel I could be in trouble here. It's a lot of cards you're drawing, sir. Phantasman makes next turn lethal, right? Okay, so I'm getting rid of Manamorphosis. I am swinging for three. And actually, the white did a lot of damage, but the Snapcaster Mage would have gotten back the Inquisition and done the same damage. So now it's lethal next turn, she has to go off now. And he has double pyromancer, so he might very well be able to. And actually I should have kept... Or should I? No, past in flames, just... I don't know. It's very possible he can go off here with those things and all the card in the graveyard but he needs to have the past in flames but he has gone through half his deck so he probably has it and remember it was I that decided to kill the electromancer and not the Ascension, which probably is uh, the wrong decision. What do you think? Should you kill uh, Pyromancer's Ascensions before you kill the Electromancers? I know I'm a noob at Modern, and I have a terrible record playing Storm. I'm 1-4 with Storm, and this will be the first deck that I actually have a worse record with than I have with Storm. And there's the grave shot. I think that will finish me. Which uh, kind of sucks. Yeah. Damn it. Could I have done anything differently? If I had gotten the Ascension first, would this still have happened? He would have a very easy time casting stuff of his Electromancer, but he wouldn't have all this mana. So maybe he couldn't have gone off. And maybe I'm just stupid and made the wrong decision and thus I lost. But it's another 0-2 for the mill deck. And I should probably just uh, stop. Playing it. And my wife has woken up, so that's probably all the game there is uh, today. So let's watch this amazing fat grape shot hit us in the head.
And look at this. I've lost against Hunt Monster Control, America Control, two American Control decks and Tron deck. Uh, Well, I can just grape shot it again. Right. And that's it. Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan and I'm 0-5 with my Storm deck while I'm 3-0 with Living End and well let's see the results actually. Here are the results with the decks I'm looking at. I should play more Elemental Combo. 3-4 uh, with Land Destruction, 36-15 with Hardford Red, 3-0 with Living End, 0-5 with Mill, 1-4 with Storm and I sold the past in Flames so I don't have the deck anymore. And I should give Mono Black Infect some more spins. Thank you for watching. I'm questing to find a modern deck, and this mill deck is not it.